What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlook here. So talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today and talking about the character of Allison Nelson and diving in a little bit more into what her narrative could be going into Halloween ends and whether or not you would like an outcome like this because I know I've talked about exploring her since she has lost her mother she's lost her father she's lost a couple of friends her ex-boyfriend and almost lost her grandmother almost died herself found out that her grandmother wasn't as crazy as she was raised to think and you know she's processing all that there's four years in between or four years have taken place after the events of halloween and halloween kills and now halloween ends so she's gonna be in a different space mentally i would imagine in her life definitely probably living with her grandmother and i would imagine either she went to college or she went to college and it didn't work out so she just dropped out altogether um they could explore that and then going into just what else they could explore as it pertains to maybe another potential shocking end that would leave everyone kind of on the fence oh i don't like that or some people saying i did like that and then the people in the middle saying i liked it but they shouldn't have done that you know looking at it from a more of a while it's unique they should have done this approach so this is actually being brought to me by a user over on reddit uh shout out to you clan scott 316 because i came across a post of yours where you were going into how this movie could be referencing its it's Christine connection since there was a Christine connection that was brought up at one point or another by David Gordon Green himself as it pertains to this movie so Christine just for those of you to get you caught up if you haven't seen Christine it's about a boy that becomes possessed with his demonic car or his demonized car I should say uh, and then he eventually is overcome by the car and effectively possessed and becomes becomes one with the car leading to his death so let's say that this is how allison is as it pertains to michael myers she's obsessed with wanting to end him she wants to kill him she wants to see him see him dead she is convinced that he of course is still alive out there somewhere she doesn't care that it's four years that have gone by she believes just like her grandmother now she's in that headspace similar to Lori in the 2018 film how she was 40 years ago she's in this headspace that I need to kill this man. This man has not only ruined your life, he's ruined my life. She's just obsessed with stopping him. And the problem here, though, is that with all of the violence and bloodshed that she was witness to and with the death of her family, friends, she's developed her own inner darkness, similar to Michael Myers. And then how this could end up getting to that that uh, controversial end would be this leads to us getting an indie where she kills Michael Myers, which I know many people are already saying, no, 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 no. <laughs> I already know the comments are going to be some very split on this. This would lead us to an end where she kills Michael Myers, but also kills Laurie Strode for what she brought to her and her family. So well, the reason why I think that's a unique thing to see is because while that's shocking, it's also kind of in a way not too far out of the realm of possibility in the sense that if you go back and rewatch the movies from the 2018 movie to then something like that happening and let's say she were to stage all of this to make it look like Michael killed Lori and she just walks away into the into the night and the movie ends maybe she takes Michael's mask with her or something who knows uh, just kind of like to signify that the evil still lives on, but it's just been passed into a woman who is now very rageful and vengeful about all the loss she's had in her life. And she's placing the blame in all the wrong directions. So now she's a very broken individual who is going to be potentially going on a path of self-destruction, if not even worse, because she, of course, would need to be serving <laughs> jail time if she's caught. So with that the whole thing there i think that's incredible because of the fact that if you go back and watch the 2018 movie the movie ends with her holding the knife and it kind of would then build us to this point if that were to happen that would that would kind of be them foreshadowing that they were building towards a passing of the evil it was always going to be passed to allison and this was her final form michael myers doesn't necessarily have to die for this to happen michael could still come out of it somehow alive Laura Stroll doesn't actually need to die for this to happen. Something could happen where 
where both of them are still alive, but you get the same outcome with Allison in a way in which you are teasing your audience to think that Michael is still alive, but you've also shown to your audience that there is a new threat that's potentially going to be growing out there if Allison isn't caught and dealt with as well. So with the whole exploring her darkness within her type of narrative, I know many people say, well, that's similar to the ending we got in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. You know, my thing here with that is I think there's more of a better chance of people people liking this more than what you got in Rob Zombie's original remake, I meant to say. Because then what you would have is, again, when you watch the 2018 film and you see the slow progressions of where Allison ends up. If she actually does kill Lori, I know that would be the thing that has people definitely on the fence. If your own granddaughter were to kill the major final girl that everybody came out to see and... I, I can just see the backlash already in my head, but I'm the the thing about it is this idea to me, it's it's kind of just so thought provoking for me that I, I would like to see how everyone reacts to it if they were to go that route. I'm not saying I would necessarily agree with it, but just thinking about it in my head, it's a unique it's a unique approach and something that I would like to would like to be able to test of course if i got invited to like a test screening if this were even the ending they were going with and you show me allison killing her grandmother and if it's done in a way in which i can say you know what i wouldn't have done it like that but you decided to do it this way and it works and it was done very well uh i'm i wouldn't be too stoked about having Lori stroke killed once again but if she dies again and i've already made it clear then she just dies again i mean she she's died already before and in this in this manner, it can be something that's done with a little bit more honor and a little bit more emotional weight added to it because of the fact that it's her own granddaughter doing it this time around. Someone who she loved and trusted um, and a little bit more heartbreaking, too. So let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to this Reddit post as well. Would you like to see that from Allison Nelson or would that be something you're against? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. Never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. You let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.